religion is increasingly suppressed um, among educated people. It's not suppressed politically or legally, uh, but my students at Yale, as, uh, as students in, in colleges across the country, um, have no concept of what the Bible is or what's in it. Think of it as a toxic book. Um, know nothing about Christianity, less about Judaism. Um, so at the same time, when the threats to human dig dignity and integrity are, are going to be ramped up to extraordinary levels of stress where we most need wisdom and moral seriousness, we're seeing wisdom and moral seriousness come under attack and often from the same people who want to do the genetic engineering. That is crusading, <coughs> crusading atheism is sort of a cause today. Um, it's popular, I don't want to say among scientists, I mean that's too, too general, it, it isn't so, but there are certainly uh, prominent people in the scientific community, there are prominent people who are religious, Jews or Christian in the scientific community, but there are also prominent people um, who have taken their atheism to the public successfully, who are crusading atheists, who preach atheism, atheism in an aggressive way um, as a consequence of science. They play on people's weakness and ignorance, and so far as most people don't take the trouble to learn science, it's easy for a scientist to say, I'm smarter than you are because I know it and you don't. You know, I understand the genome and you don't. I understand physics. I can do hard calculus problems and not just 12th grade level ones. So you can see how much smarter I am than, than, than you are. And when I tell you there, there are no moral absolutes and religion is trash, and furthermore, we ought to go ahead with human cloning, we should go ahead with genetic engineering and implants of all sorts, which will smudge the line between human and machine, we're getting into a, a moral conflict of interest, which is tremendously dangerous. I, I don't think we will succumb. I mean, I think, you know, human beings have faced hard challenges. The Second World War was as difficult a crisis as mankind ever will face. Uh, um, 50 million people died, um, uh, humanity teetered on the edge, um, uh, state paganism was, was preached aggressively by Hitlerite Germany, which despised Christianity as much as it hated Jews. It didn't hate Christians as people, but it hated Christianity. Um, uh, the Japanese Empire, which, was, uh, w which revived state paganism, um, in preference to the more sophisticated religions of Buddhism and Christianity that had been popular in Japan. Stalinist Russia, which was an aggressively pagan nation, suppressed Christianity. That was a crisis. It was an enormous crisis. We rose to the occasion. We defeated it. It damaged us. We still bear the scars. Um, I think we're going to face a crisis in the coming century that will be different in character. Crises never the same. We never see the same crisis twice. Um, I know we have the moral uh, strength to rise to the occasion, and I hope and pray that we do in practice.